Hey YouTube, today we're talking about the Apple Silicone case for iPhone 11 Pro. Wait, this feels like deja vu. My name is Jerry and I bought Apple's new silicone case for the iPhone 11 Pro. Unless you are constantly dropping your phone or overly worried about damaging your phone, I would recommend this case. Okay, so I have done this before, but it's five months later. How does this case hold up over time? Let's find out. Thanks for checking out my video, everyone. My name is Jerry, and this is my new YouTube channel where I will talk about the things that I've bought and what I like about them. If you like what I'm doing, please help be one of my first thousand subscribers by hitting the button below. When I bought the Apple Silicon case for iPhone 11 Pro five months ago, I really liked how it felt on my phone. The case is slim, protective, didn't get in the way of swipes, and the soft touch feel is better than any other cases, in my opinion. As I discussed in the Spigen Liquid Air Armor review, the Apple silicone cases are actually a piece of hard plastic with a silicone wrap around it. This design provides a nice rigid feel while keeping the case thin. However, the silicone can start peeling away like it has on the bottom corner of mine. You can see that the case is tearing and peeling away from the plastic. Over time, this will eventually just tear off. There is also an issue that I'm seeing with the corners becoming shiny. The soft touch coating simply rubs over time while holding in my hand or going in and out of my pockets and becomes polished. I would assume that with additional wear, the plastic underneath would start to show or the coating will start peeling. So overall, after five months, it looks like it's time to replace this Apple silicone case. I do like how the Apple cases feel initially compared to all other silicone or hard cases that I've used over the years. However, after just a few months of use, this one is starting to fall apart substantially. The peeling and the polishing of the soft touch silicone simply does not outweigh the nice thin feeling of the case. And I probably will not buy another one unless they substantially redesign them. Oh, and I really hate how squishy the buttons are compared to the big case manufacturers. Thanks for watching my new video. If you have questions or comments about the Apple silicone case or suggestions about a better case, drop them in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing, consider clicking the subscribe button to the right. Hit the bell below for notifications. And if you enjoyed this, hit thumbs up and I'll see you next time.